Yo, are you tired of losing on Madden Ultimate Team and want the God Squad that you always wanted? Well, head over to my sponsor, x5p.com. Link is in the description and use code MILLS at checkout for 5% off your order. You know I'm a pro with this. You know I'm a pro with this. I got this thing. I got this thing. Ain't no control on this. Ain't no control on this. I threw a laser. He didn't even notice this. Didn't even notice this. She got me golden mills. Got I'm a go to this. Got I'm a go to this. He, he. You know I'm a pro with this. You know I'm a pro with this. I got this thing. I got this thing. Ain't no control on this. Ain't no control on this. I threw a laser. He didn't even notice this. Ain't even notice this. She got me golden mills. Got I'm a go to this. Got I'm a go with this. Hey, hey. You know I'm a pro with this. Yo, what's going on, goats? It's the GOAT. Golden Mills here, man, back with another Madden video. If you're new to the channel, hit that like and sub button on the road to 13,000 subscribers. Every sub is all appreciated. Hey, no the gang shout out from last video goes to Mr. Draco YT and goes to Chuck WF. But here in today's video, man, I did promise if my last video got 90 likes that I will drop this full scheme. And y'all went crazy. Y'all went banana, so I have to drop it today. This does work on current and next gen. The setups are exactly the same. The gameplay a little slower on next, but the setups are exactly the same on current and next. But this offense is too dominant. This is one. This is the best offense in the game. Um, I've been going crazy with it in mud. Now, the thing about this offense that makes it great, you do not need a high route master. So you can put somebody like D Hop right here. Um, I like fast receivers on the outside, Kirk and Isabella. That is the way you want to set it up. Now, the plays you want is the audible double post, mesh post, flood. Where's my flood at? Where's my flood? Flood and bench pivot. And the play you want to come out in is Z spot. So this is the way you want to set it up. First, we're going to go over cover four, cover three, cover two, then man to man coverage. But first, we will be going against a cover four. So. The first play, once again, is Z spot. Now, you always want to be on a hash. Have your bunch on the wide side of the field. That's just a pro tip. Pro tip, have your bunch on the wide side of the field. That's when it is the best. But the play is right here, man. The play is right here. All you want to do is streak circle, put X on the in route, block the running back, and motion out, circle now. Your first read is going to be the flats. X in the flats is your first read. Um, flats wide open, so just take that all day. Second read is the corner route. Third read will be the backside in route. I'll show that to you one more time. Streak circle, scoring in route, block triangle. Motion on circle just like this. And I don't know why the play are showing like that, but you are gonna have all one. You're just gonna have to make the great read. Hey, this offense is glitchy now. Hey, hit that like and sub button. Hit that like and sub button if you are new to the channel, man. This offense is glitchy. The next setup for Z spot, all you wanna do is Circle on the in route, square on the in route, and streak eggs this time. Now, your first read is going to be circle. Um, I do like this because it just messes up the defense, as you can see right here. Ah, uh, um, you know, that's still a glitch in the game, but once again, circle on a flat, you can do something like that. X on a streak, square on the in route. Now, if they do have a linebacker or something, you could do this and hit circle fast and get up the field. That's another pro tip. Now, hey, we're flooding, and this is just one play. This is just one play. So, the next play is double post. Now, this is the best play in the game, in my opinion. All you want to do is drag R1, and you have reads all over. First read, R1, um, to get up the field. That's probably my favorite ride in the game, so hard to guard. My second um, read on this will be the running back. Watch the running back get wide open. Oh, I accidentally clicked the wrong play. Y'all stay with me. Y'all stay with me. It's early in the morning. It's early in the morning, but double post is very, very glitchy. Once again, drag all one, just like this. And now watch the running back route. It gets like right in between the zones. If you have good short route running like a Kamar or McCaffrey or Aaron Jones, that route is literally on guard. You cannot man it up. You cannot do anything. It gets right before the zone. So that's like almost 10 yards every play. Now, say they want to cover both of them the drag and the running back route then you will have circle over the middle that's what makes this play literally unstoppable that's what makes this play literally unstoppable so next play is flood now there's two ways you want to set a flood first way you can just run a stock run flood stock is the first way um you have reads between triangle 
X and R1 right here. You do have X wide open. So hit X and get up the field. Next, where you want to set up flood, triangle on an option and circle on a hitch. Now, the reason why this is a glitch is because all you have to do is motion out circle just like this. And now watch circle. You have a route between circle and triangle now. If it's on coverage for the easy, easy completion. So it, it doesn't get no much better than that. It doesn't get much better than that. Last way you want to set up flood, max protect. This is if they're kind of blitzing. Drag X and put circle on a flat. That's the last way you want to set up flood. And you do want to motion out circle, just like this. Motion circle out, and you should just have a read. Um, X could be the first read right here. X could be the first read. Just take your flats, and you might have all one. So, Next play, bench pivot. Now there's two ways I like to set this up. First way, all you wanna do is put R1 on a streak. Motion out circle just like this and roll out. Now X is gonna get crazy open, especially if you have a good tight end right there. Um, any good tight end in mud like Pitts, anybody like that, OJ Howard, Waller, they all gonna cook. They're all gonna cook and it's, it's gonna be a noticeable difference. So once again, motion out, motion out Isabella, and now say they guard X, then you should have square. But when you catch the ball on square, you want to come back and aggressive catch it. You want to hold triangle, aggressive catch that. That's the first one you're going to set up bench pivot. Next way is put R1 on a streak, motion over circle, and putting circle on the drag. Now what this drag is going to do by circle is going to pull that zone down that's playing X, as you can see right there. And X is even going to be more open. Now say that zone somehow stays, but it's not going to stay. Say it does somehow stay then you will have circle for the easy, easy completion. So um, you might have circle like right here and get circle for the easy completion. Say he wants to guard the tight end route. So that is bench pivot. Last play is mesh post. Probably my favorite play against zone coverage. All you want to do is put square on our route, motion over R1 and put him on a slant just like this. Now all you do is read triangle and R1 um, for the easy, easy completion against zone coverage. I'll show that to you one more time. People, they sleep on this running back route. Running back route is very, very glitchy. Say they go at the running back, then you have R1 for the easy completion. So, next way you wanna set a mesh post against zone coverage, all you wanna do is put score on our route, R1 on a hitch, and circle on a curl, just like that. Motion out circle, just like this. And now watch the, watch the magic happen. Watch the magic happen. You have a read between the X and circle. So now you wanna hit X for the easy, easy completion. So that is against cover four. Now I'll show you cover three, cover two, then man to man coverage. So now I will pick a random cover three now. Once again, first setup for Z spot, circle on our route, X on a streak, square on in route just like this. Um, first read gotta be circle. Gotta be circle. If they play circle, then you should have all one right here for the easy, easy completion. I do recommend using the Cardinals, Bills, Packers, somebody that has Gunslinger makes the read a whole lot easier. Second, we want to set up against cover three. What makes it deadly is put circle on a streak. Now, the reason you want to put circle on the streak because this outside quarter, circle is going to bring him all the way up the field. And you should have all one even more open now. So that is two ways you do want to set up Z spot versus cover three. Now, double post against cover three, same thing. First read. Triangle and R1, as you can see, them two routes are just crazy. Them two routes are just crazy glitchy, and you do even have hollow reads with the tight end and that square on the outside. Um, look at that tight end, because that tight end is going to get up the field with that zone get brought down by that running back, and you still might have the tight end. But the best two options you have is triangle. As you can see, look, what I mean by this tight end, if you roll out, then you should get a very very glitchy animation but the main read is the two drags and then you have the post right over the middle say they play the drags for the easy easy completion next play bench pivot this is actually a cover three beater one of my favorite cover three beaters if his safety is over there on the weak side like as you can see his top high safety is on the weak side all you want to do is motion Isabella out and throw this ball right here for the easy easy touchdown um i've scored so much times like this in mud 
Um, that's all I've been playing. I've been scoring a lot. Running bench pivot. And once again, motion out circle. As you can see, R1 pass lead that. Um, the safeties are not going to get there. And it should be an easy, easy completion. So, once again, next play for bench pivot. All you want to do is motion over circle, put them on a drag, and put R1 on a streak. Now, what that drag is going to do is going to pull down that zone and make X a whole lot more open. So, that is the setup for bench pivot. Now, next, mesh post. First, we're going to set a mesh post score on our route. R1 on a hitch, circle on a curl, just like this. Motion out circle. And now you're just making a read between X and circle. Right here to go with X, circle should be wide open. And that's the read on the right side of the field. The read on the next side of the field is going to be easy. All you want to do is hit the running back. The, hit the running back if he does guard the slant. And if he doesn't guard the slant, then just hit the slant. So as you can see right here, running back wide open. Also slant wide open, so just make a nice, easy read. So, that is against cover three. Now I'll show you cover two, then man-to-man -man coverage. Z-spot versus cover two is a absolute money play. First, we want to set up circle on this out route. Now, just watch just watch this route by Hopkins. This is a one-play touchdown if you do have time in the pocket. Right there, obviously, right when I said have time in the pocket, you got sacked. But... Hey, just look at this. Once again, circle on our route, X on a streak. Just look how open R1 gets. Look how open R1 gets. This is one of my favorite red zones. This is unstoppable. This is a touchdown every time. Cover two is so bad this year. Um, this is one of my favorite red zone plays. One of my favorite plays against cover two in general. Circle on that out route. That is an absolutely toast. Cover two, cover three, and cover four. But different, different ways you want to set this up. As you can see, Look at R1, man. Look at R1. That's an easy, easy touchdown. Hey, this offense is unstoppable. So hit that like button, hit that sub button once again if you are new. Next play is double post. Double post is unstoppable against any formation, so it doesn't matter. Cover two, cover three. This R1 route and that triangle route will get open against any zone coverage. It will get open against man coverage. And if the user somehow plays one of them, then you should have circle. But right here, you're just going to have to hit R1 for the easy, easy completion. Next play, bench pivot. Um, not necessarily one of my favorite plays against cover two, but it still does work. As you can see, X, no matter what that route, you have to have 30 yards zone drops just to play that route. And that would make this offense very, very glitchy. Next way to set a bench pivot. All you want to do is motion over Isabella, put him on the drag. Hopkins on a streak just like this. Um... And as you can see, that drag gonna pull down that zone, and you should have the tight end for easy, easy completion. Next play, mesh post. Once again, square on our route, R1 on a hitch, circle on a curl, just like this. Motion out Isabella, and now you should have either read between triangle right there, triangle might be a touchdown. Um, because the way cover two plays is gonna have a cloud flat and that out route is gonna bring down that cloud flat over there. That's the first way you're gonna set it up. Next way is just like this. X on that flat will also get open. So you can watch X on that flat, R1 and triangle. So that will be cover two. Now I will show you man-to-man -man coverage, then that will be the end of the video. So man-to-man -man coverage, Z-spot is not necessarily my favorite play, but this route might get open, this R1 route. Um, just watch it, this corner route. If it's a good receiver, it's gonna get open. We wanna pass lead that to the right. I'm off time, have time in the pocket right there, but once again, streak circle. But R1 is your only read, though. R1 is your only read. As you can see, he's going to get some separation. Well, that, that's a linebacker, but it was kind of a weird cover one right there. I'll show it to you one more time, y'all. They, they playing some weird defense. They playing some weird, very weird defense. I don't know what's going on. But look, like this right here. That, that, was, that was man coverage. 
the other stuff, I don't know what was going on. They was lining up linebackers from 30 yards back. But yeah, this is strictly man coverage. And as you can see, all one, that corner out will be open if you have a good receiver. He will get separation. But my favorite play against man coverage, double post, drag, R1. First read, R1. Second read, running back. Third read, that post. None of them, all of them beats man. All of them beats man. So if they play man against you, they're, they're absolutely fried. If they play man against you, they are absolutely fried. As you can see, circle right here. Um, just absolutely destroys man coverage. So next play is flood. My favorite setup against man is putting triangle on the option route and calling hike. Now watch all one. All one's gonna absolutely cook. Um, that's my first read against man coverage. Next read will be will be a running back route. Will be a running back route. Look at the running back right here against man coverage. That option route does cook, especially if you have a good running back. So I'll show that to you one more time. Watch the running back route Ugh, right here. That's gonna be a completion every time. But what you wanna do to make sure that's a completion every time, you wanna low ball this. Low ball this and possession catch it. So right, right here, low ball, possession catch, and that'll be a completion every time. It's like a glitch in the game. Next play is bench pivot. Now, if you don't have a good tight end, I do not recommend you running this against man. But if you have a good tight end, watch, watch X. Oh, well, I don't have a good tight end on this team, so I really can't show you bench pivot. But if you have a great tight end, that route does absolutely cook. Final play against man coverage, one of my favorite plays. All you wanna do is make a read between R1 and circle right here on mesh post. Um, circle's open right here, but as you can see, the safety came down. I'll show that to you one more time. R1 on a slant. Now watch circle right when he cuts. Circle's gonna be open right here for easy completion. And if they're guarding circle, then you should have the slant for easy completion. This slant should be wide open. Motion slants are unstoppable to stop in man coverage. So, ladies and gentlemen, that will be the end of the video. Coats, a comment coats in the comment section if you made it this far. Um, if you're new to the channel, hit that like and sub. But once again, comment coats. So I know you're a real subscriber. This works on current and next gen. Y'all did go crazy on my last video with the likes, so I had to bring this to y'all. That'll be the end of the video, and I'm out, goats. Peace.